Thank you, Rachel. Hello again. The heart striker Dale Carrick says today's news surrounding the future of the club is better than beating arch rivals Hibernian. Carrick was instrumental in his side's Edinburgh Derby victory last month. Now he wants to stay at Tynecastle beyond the end of the season and thinks other players will follow suit. A new chapter for Hearts off the pitch that could signal a new beginning on the pitch. It's unlikely that Dale Carrick and his teammates will ever endure a more turbulent season. But he's likened today's positive news to beating their closest rivals. The news today is right up there with beating Hibs, but I would say the news today was more than beating Hibs, I would say. I actually heard it on Twitter and it was great to hear it from everyone that we're moving forward. Like Mark Ridges, we've been texting just saying that it's positive that the club is moving forward and we're getting where we want to be. The future of several Tynecastle players remains uncertain, but the 20-year-old wants to stay and hopes others will take his lead. It wouldn't change anything. I'd be with the club no matter what. If they're willing to keep me, I'll be fighting for it. More players will be more likely to stay because there's more stability for them to stay because they know that there's going to be positive behind the club. Dave McPherson was in the Hearts team that won the Scottish Cup 16 years ago. He says investment in the team is needed to take them back to the top flight. I don't think so much in the short term, but maybe sort of medium to long term, uh, there will have to be some sort of investment into the football club, but nowhere near the sort of uh, uh, the money that Romanov put in, the Lithuanians. They spent a lot of money and wasted a lot of money, and I can't see Ian Budge doing that. Hearts host Ross County on Saturday, another opportunity for the club's players to show their appreciation to their loyal fans. Grateful to the fans, the amount of backing that they came to the away games, the home games, and the amount of money that they've put into the club to save us, and very grateful for that. Hibernian